Muy bienvenidos a CBC La Voz. Gracias por estar con nosotros. Quien te habla es tu amiga Joana Torres. Y en esta ocasión estoy en compañía de los protagonistas de la película Dolphin Tale 2. Ellos son Nathan Gambo y Cosi Sulzdorf. Vamos a darle una cordial bienvenida nuevamente. Guys, thank you so much for being here with us. Nathan, Cosi. Thanks for having us. Now, you guys are going to have to share Mike just like you share a beautiful dolphin named Winter wow. in this movie. Great, great segue. <laughs> wow. How was it jumping back in the pool with Winter and now her new friend Hope? Oh, it was so much fun. Swimming with Winter is uh, really special because dolphins are, dolphins are very unique. Uh, you know, Sawyer says in the movie that Uh, dolphins' brains are as complex as humans' brains, so we need to treat them like we would treat any other person. And I certainly treated Winter like another co-star. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Cozy? Tell me a little bit about this new experience. Uh, it's been three years. Did Winter remember you guys? Oh, you know, everybody asks us that. It's, it's tough to say. You know, you can't, uh, she doesn't speak English, so there's, there's <laughs> no real really way. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we'd like to think so. Yeah, we, we shared some really special experiences, and, and the dolphins are always so kind and gentle to us, so yeah. Have you learned anything about dolphins that perhaps the normal average Joe doesn't know? We got a ton of facts for you. Tons. Uh, did you know that dolphins, when they're babies, they have whiskers? They can also have spots that kind of look like freckles. They can shed, which they call sloughing their skin. Uh, that's a good one. Uh, oh, they, they sleep with one eye open because they're conscious breathers, which means they have to think about every breath they take. So they shut half of their brain off at a time when they sleep, giving them the effect that they sleep with one eye open. Wow, that's amazing. I think we have enough of the dolphin facts <laughs> oh, for now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can imagine. Let's talk about a little bit of the message behind the movie, that inspirational message that got us the first time and uh, well, now it's coming back again. You know, there's so many little hidden messages in, in this movie. Uh, for me, the one that I want people to take away with and especially kids I want people to take away with is, uh, which is in the first one and second one, at the end of the movie you see all the people who are really inspired by winter, specifically wounded veterans, uh, kids with physical handicaps, uh, and just uh, people who are, who are going through a rough time right now and winter is sort of uh, their inspiration, I guess. And When I was 12, when I was younger, I, whenever I would see someone like that on the street, I would think of them as a different person because they looked different than me. When really they're unrelatable. yeah, unrelatable. And really, th th they're not. They're just they're just like us. The only thing that makes us different uh, from them to us is that they're a little braver. You want to add something to that? Yeah, well, we always talk about people, you know, with life challenges, like huge significant ones, as being a little braver because, yeah, it's it's so easy for kids to feel so, you know, like just just. Um, thrown off you know but yeah. but it's, it's so amazing I've never met a kid who's been inspired by winter with a bad attitude That's you know so true. Yeah. it's incredible to meet all these all these people you know wounded warriors all these people now um, nowadays when we look at the movies um, we don't always get an inspirational movie a movie that you can go with your family and leave feeling completely happy satisfied um, do you guys think we need more of this kind of films Oh, oh yeah. totally. Uh, I think we need more of those kind of films because what they can do, specifically Dolphin Tale, uh, if they're inspired by this movie, they can go to uh, seawinner.com. They can uh, donate to the aquarium because it's a nonprofit. Or they, if, they, if they really love uh, marine animals, they can actually volunteer there, too. Yeah, it's been amazing to see the impact that the movies made on the aquarium. You know, they, they used to be so small. Then the first dolphin tank came out, and, it, you know, it increased their, their facility. It helped them. It increased their level of care. You yeah. know, they're, they're able to care for these animals really in a high-end way, which is yeah. really amazing to watch. Very true. Okay, what was the most difficult or challenging scene that you guys had to do, considering that it is an aquarium, considering that these are live animals? Well, the water would get really cold. The water got really cold, and also it's salt water, and we have to act like, you know, happy, and our eyes are open when our eyes are actually uh, burning. Burning. And definitely you got over that. That's the reason why we're here, because yep. we have Dolphin <laughs> Tail too, which is amazing. Now, how about the preparation for your role? I, I understand that in previous interviews you said that you think Sawyer is a little bit of a shy guy. Yeah. He faces the dolphins and, you know, he starts 
developing his own character yeah. and his own um, self-assurance. That's a great way Do to put you it. relate to him in some way? Um, I definitely relate to Sawyer more in the second one than I did in the first one. He's a little more open. I think he's definitely uh, broken out of his shell in the second one. And I think, you know, like Sawyer, uh, Sawyer's not the kind of person who has a lot of passions, but that one passion that he does have, he loves it so much and he's going to spend 100% of his time on it. And that's exactly uh, uh, with me. Awesome. How about with Hazel? Well, Hazel, I, I wouldn't, she's definitely not shy. <laughs> she knows sure. she's a girl who knows what she wants. She's a really strong female character, which is, I think, a really great thing to introduce, you know, to all the kids that are watching. And it's fun to watch her in the second one, find her voice as an individual and, you know, grow gracefully into a young adult. Now, um, talking about strong characters and talking about a person with strong beliefs, let's talk about a little bit about your beliefs. Have they helped you in Hollywood? Have they helped you develop your career? And I'm talking about your Christian faith because you have openly talked about this. Is it a plus? Is it a negative? Huge plus. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior and and anything that he wants me to do, you know, Lord willing, I'll have the faith to do it. And so, yeah, that's my number one. It's not like he influences my choices in Hollywood. It's like he is, you know, he is my goal. Yeah. That's amazing. So both of you guys are, are dealing with characters that are pretty similar to exactly who you are in yeah. real life. Now we're practically running out of time. Well, yes. I mean... You know, this is usually how it is, but <laughs> I really, really, really want to um, touch on a part of the movie that was extremely touching. And that was when Morgan Freeman, which is obviously playing Dr. McCarthy, gives you a gift. It is a very valuable gift. And we can give away <laughs> that specific scene in the movie, but I do want to ask you guys. You a million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> It's a very valuable gift and it has a lesson attached to it. Now, yeah. what kind of lesson did you guys get from working with the rest of the cast in Dolphin Tale, working with someone like Morgan Freeman, for example? You know, even though that he's Morgan Freeman, I never really th uh, think of him as the kind of person who's like, all right, I'm Morgan Freeman and I'm going to teach you a life lesson. That's not, that's not who he is. He's you just learned this from very, watching him. Uh, yeah, this grounded, humble person. And all, all you got to do is just watch him. And that's, that's really the most you can learn from him. Exactly. He has a great quote. Um, People aren't listening to what you say. They're watching what you do. So he definitely was living proof of that. Yes. That's amazing. Uh, humble. I like that yeah. word. Is it difficult for you guys to remain humble? You guys started as kids practically doing the first movie, but all the cameras, the lights, has it changed a little bit the way you treat people or perhaps the perception others have of you? I, well, for me, I think it, it, in this business, your perception can definitely change really fast. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's when I think really great parents uh, come in uh, to keep you grounded uh, and also siblings too to keep your head from swelling up to a balloon. <laughs> yeah, you just have to not believe the hype you know not go in it for the fame just just mm -hmm. we just want to book more jobs and tell more stories yep. you know that's amazing well we have uh, two minutes left and i would like you guys to just face the camera and those thousands of people that are watching you young and old and just perhaps give a message to those people that are hopeless and uh, tell people why they would need to watch dolphin tail too in that order <laughs> Oh, well, first of all, we wanted to thank all of you who were inspired by the movie. We love you guys so much. We're so grateful, so grateful that, that you were inspired by Winter Story and now Hopes. You know, we're, we're so excited for you to see the second one. And uh, I know personally that if you liked the first one, you're going to love the second one. We bring back everyone, all the, the all-star cast, and also uh, the themes are more dramatic, and I think the themes are more personal, and I think more people can relate to it, and I think that's why people are going to love it. Yeah, so if you want to see, you know, this movie succeed, and maybe if you want to see another movie, who knows, you, you should go see it on opening weekend, because that tells us how much you love it. That is very it. true, yes. Well, the invitation is there for every one of us, Dolphin Tale 2. We want to thank you both, Nathan thank and Cosi, you. for being here with us. So now I'm going to make you say something in Spanish to say goodbye. Just okay. say, goodbye, se besé la voz. Goodbye, se besé la voz. <laughs> okay, say it again sl slower, though. Se besé la voz. Se besé la voz. Goodbye, se besé la voz.
Yeah, okay. Maybe. <laughs> that works. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. You did oh, great. Thanks. And we you. loved you in the movie. Oh, so great. we're sure to check it out, just like you are. Thank you. Continuamos con más aquí después de entrevistar a los protagonistas de la película Dolphin Tale 2, que estará muy pronto en sus salas de cine. Hi guys, welcome to Clearwater Marine Aquarium. How's everybody doing today? Ooh. Looks like Winter's being extra playful today. Winter's been such an inspiration for me. Isn't she just amazing? Your female bottlenose, Winter. She's not doing well, Clay. No one's allowed back here. Winter's not feeling very well. Does he ever come out? Not much. It's hard to even coax her out to eat. You ever try bacon? It works with my cat. <laughs> Winter needs to be paired with another female and soon. I'm giving you 30 days to correct the problem. Hey, guys, Marine Fisheries just picked up a stranding. Clay, it's a female. All right, everyone, when that truck arrives, you will hear one voice, and it will be mine. Sawyer, I want you right beside me. That's them. Oh, she's so little. We got to get her in the water fast. I'm going to take her myself. Now all we can do is hope. That's your name. Hello, Hope. Can we talk about pairing her with Winter? You can't just throw two dolphins in the water together. If they don't like each other, we'll lose Winter. What are we supposed to do? It's a big world, Sawyer. You have to shake it up now and then. I know Winter. If we don't give her this chance, what do we do? I don't want to look back on this knowing we didn't even try. Sawyer's right. <laughs> My sentiments exactly. <laughs> We don't know for sure if dolphins feel friendship. It feels like they do. And that's not a bad thing. Is everybody set? Okay. Send hope. What on earth is wrong with that bird? Where do I start? <laughs> <laughs> 